On the Balkans, the whole river system is under attack. When we see beauty, they see money. Rivers have the power to unite. Shouldn't there be something that we do not destroy? When you imagine a river, it's basically the same as a tree. The main trunk is the river, but you have the branches, all the tributaries. Everything is connected. It starts with the rain in the mountains. It's ferocious, it's flowing fast. It's hitting the rocks and pushing the rocks. And then it's aging. It meanders. It takes its time. And then, in the end, it flows very slowly into the sea. No other energy source destroys nature on such dimension as hydropower. If you build a dam, there's no water left. No water for people, no water for fish. Trees can't even reach the groundwater anymore. In Central Europe, river after river after river has been killed in the last 50, 60 years. Young people have never seen a living river. They think they've seen one, but they're regulated channels. If there is a Europe, you know, and we are connected, shouldn't there be something that we do not destroy? I grew up in a little town in Germany and uh, we had a river and my father learned to swim in that river and I learned to catch trouts with my bare hand in that river. And years later, they built a dam upstream and the river was gone. And that made me, you know, what I am. And I'm a river person. When I first came to the Balkans, I was completely shocked. I thought I know every river in Europe. There is nothing comparable in Europe like this. I think Balkan rivers are special not just because of the wildlife alone. Rivers down here are special because of the people that live around them. It's a combination with nature and culture. People have lived down here with rivers for millennia. 
they live with the river. When they talk, the river talks through them. Since I can remember, I was somehow connected with rivers. It started thanks to my dad, because he was a fisherman, he still is. And when I was probably three, four years old, he would take me fishing with him. But I always wanted a bit more than just fishing there. So I started rowing. Somehow I made it to Olympic Games in four years. Got into finals, but then missed the medal. And my promise to myself was I'm gonna quit the sport and really start living. In rivers, everything comes together. You have a flow of energy which you can see. It's so rich with life. It's where water meets the land. The wind is different, the smell is different, the feeling next to the river is different. So if you try and manipulate that, you are playing with something really big. The story about the Balkan rivers is a positive story. It's something wonderful. It's about beauty, actually. But many people don't see the beauty anymore. When we see beauty, they see money. We have evidence of about 3,000 hydropower projects between Slovenia and Greece. Literally every single river would be dammed or diverted. It's at the brink, I would say. But luckily, people stand up. Even in the remotest part of this country, people, locals, stand up and try to stop the dam project. In many places, we've forgotten to stand up for nature, for something that we call home. The Viosa in Albania is probably one of the most remarkable rivers in the Balkans. And I think it's one of the most remarkable rivers in Europe. It flows from the mountains in Greece into the Adriatic Sea in Albania without any artificial obstacles. It's the biggest wild river that we have. The river is actually the king of these valleys. So wherever the river wants to go, it goes. It's an enormous mosaic of different and small habitats. The people from Kurt, they would lose the basis of their existence. Nindertai am da on diali kutos, ke igzoi to resursat bukura. Kind of 
Kuta e ka. Nje ju ka dëshirt këtë lenë, të këtë tokë. Kuta e ka. Por nje ju ka dashur të këtë dhe i lu. Fatë mirësisht, kuta e ka. Baba im vjosën e qëvantja të ti, në kodat e qëvantja të ti. Baba im ishte një riu i natyrës. Ishte një riu i lumit, një riu i kodave dhe i malë. Neve gjithë me natyrën e kemi lidhë. Në dy vjetë është besoj, dy gjoja fjalë që regjimi do të të bende një hidro central, në poqem. Sëpse komuniteti nuk e kupton dhe përmbytemi, por e shpjetu komuniteti jo, ku marim vesh që ne do në mbysin. Ska më lumë, ska më tokë, Nuk kam e ullin shëkullor, nuk kam e vareza. I binde e fundit, mos të ketë me shpirë për të jodi. build one dam, the future of all these locals is decided. It's not concerned about climate change, it's not renewable energy, it's about money. Ti vjen e i korruptuar, i drejtojsh poplit kutës e vase i qorushin, edhe thua, me të jam pene, se jemi ne zot do të mbysim. Ne të vdekur e lëshojmë vjosën dhe kutën. Dhe, u be, dhe një moto, një shprehi, nuk kishtë e me e mimë gjesë. Por kur nga shikonin, e kishim jo diga. Jo diga. Nuk duem të na prishet të vjosa. Nuk duam hidrocentralin, nuk duam të naprishen tokat. Ta luan disa të rëndorejnë në Shqipëri, me shekuj. As kjonë, as kulturën, as këngën, dhe as veshe nga humën. Kjo më rekujit ka Shqipëria. Pse duhet të ashuaj me neve se duan sa të rëndorë të kosh të shekujit 14? Kështë dojë që me ndonë të shuaj lumejnë, dhe lumet tanë nuk shuhen. Albania is probably the worst country on the Balkans in relation to dam construction. They want to build more than 500 dams. Every little creek is threatened by hydropower plants. But luckily, we were able to file a lawsuit together with the locals from Kut. They want the Vjosa Valley to be the first Wild River National Park in Europe. Me peticioni që moram, shkuam dhe, e quam gjetja qështje në gjuka. Dikush në tha, po shkon Amazon, edhe po shkon antilopa, 
në gjysh do heri luan. The laws are there, the enforcement is something that is missing. We have to use those laws, actually. Public consultation turned out to be a really fake one. Because none of the local community affected, directly affected, as the law requires, was consulted for the hydropower. Kër gjyshtari e pjëti një nga kompania. A ke një berë dhe gjesë me komunitetin? Po, ishte për gjithja. Po, ku e ke një berë e dini, ku e shkuta? Jo, nuk e dini. Po, me kërë ke një berë. Me poplin e kutus e edhi? Jo, poplin e kutus jo. Ja shkelu të gjitha regullat, me pak fjallesh be korupcion. Vendimi qeveris bje. My colleague called me and said, hey, you know, we won. And I said, what did we won? We won. The court decided to cancel the concessionary contract. It was, believe me, the most emotional day of my life. Jetën e japim, gjësën se japim. Jetën e japim, futën se japim. A lot of people think that hydropower is green, is renewable. But in fact, it's one of the worst energy resources in relation to nature and to people. So large dams are basically flooding the canyons, so making lakes out of the rivers. And small hydropower plants are taking the water out of the canyon. 90% of all these hydropower projects on the Balkans are so-called small-scale hydropower plants. It's drying out the landscape. There's no water left. The people that are talking us into the hydro issue is the old triangle. The hydro lobby, and then there's the construction lobby, and then there's the bank, the financial market. And the reason why it's so interesting for most of them is that it's very hard to oversee what the actual price for such a dam is. Nobody really knows how many cubic meters of concrete goes into one. So it's pretty simple to get some extra money out of it. Then you take into account what is necessary to build such a dam, the infrastructure. You have to build a road, pipelines. You have to cut the forest in order to build transmission lines. All these things. You know, they can calculate a huge amount of money, and then the taxpayer or the consumer has to pay that. And that opens the gates for corruption. It looks really complex, the whole story, but at the end of the day, it's really simple. This is politically unstable region where companies and money from abroad can make things that they cannot do in European Union. The rest of the Europe is completely damp. There's nowhere else these lobbies can go to make more money. The Mavrovo National Park in Macedonia is one of the oldest national parks in Europe. It's a mountainous region with a lot of forest and a lot of rivers. It's home to one unique species, as the Balkan lynx.
викам Панай от Чоровски. Роден съм 1906 в Унгария. Седемнадесета година, шестнадесет, седемнадесета година, почна да се дружам интензивно со природата. Првите излегувани ми беа малце, така да речам, незгодни, малце страв со некои мисли кои луѓето ги шире волко ќе те јади, мечката ќе те јади, ќе те проголтат шумата. И јас лично, да речам, порано сум мислел, сум знал дека има некој животно, постои рис. Не баре тигри, не баре лавови. Е, додава надприродни е, свойства. И такви некои приказни успеав да ги пребродам. Одев таму се отпуштував, значи ги пуштав психите. И така, со све срце, со све душа, сум посветен на природата. Се отпуштив и почнав сам да водам по планините Кајна, да речеме во Западна Македонија. Почнав да на лов, на ситен дивеч, на крупен дивеч. Поштениот лов. Тоа некое исконско нешто во човекот, кој е Илјадници години од назад е, е вродено во Сршта. Средби со мечки, сум имал средби со волци. Риби сум гледал како се мрестат. Сум гледал пеперотки како се роят. Со самото движење по планината и сум најдол, најшол на две млади ривчиња. Рисот кој многу е редок, таинствено животно, многу тешко се гледат, редко има луѓе кои ќе се пофалат, дека виделе трага од риса, каму ли рис. Мы were informed that uh, a hunter from Kichevo photographed uh, the Balkan lynx. I saw these photos and actually were the first time I've ever seen small Balkan lynx cubs. You know, most people have never seen even traces. There are probably less than 50 specimens left in the world. And we could now prove that the Balkan lynx is not only living in the national park, but is reproducing. и тие слики, што ги сликав тие двете ривчиња, е од тогаш натака почна да се врти некоја тркало на судбина да нарачам или кој знае како, пошто во Македонија се јавија некои особи кои се запофала, кои трнаа по патеките на рисот да го заштитат. Ме прилика да уловиме за научни цели неколку рисови на кои се ставени GPS и ги следиме. 
the biggest threats of the survival of the Balkan lynx is its habitat destruction and habitat fragmentation. So the lynx depends on prey. That prey, for example, deer, depends on the rivers. So if you dam the river, you destroy the habitat for the prey, that means you endanger that species. This cat actually relies on these rivers, and they want to build 19 dams inside the national park. Why on earth do you establish a national park when you build dams in there? It's either or. If you have the dams, you won't have the cat. So we filed a complaint to the Bern Convention, that is the Convention on Natural Habitats and Biodiversity, saying Macedonia is breaking these conventions that they have signed. If you talk about the Balkans, you think basically about the war in the 90s, ethnic problems, uh, maybe refugees. The region is famous for conflict. People here went through really difficult things. All I know about the conflict is from hearing other stories. The Balkan rivers survived miraculously over the decades of destruction. Bosnia-Herzegovina is one of the most beautiful countries within the Balkans. They have mountains, they have pristine forests and crystal clear rivers. We have 244 rivers in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and we have planned for 300 new hydropower plants to be built. And that basically means that almost on all rivers, hydropower plants are planned, and on some of them, dozens. Rodila sam se 14.4.62. godine u Fujnici. Moja mama bila domaćica, otac mi je bio radnik. U Vranci, a ima nas 11. Smo imali smo sve svoje sadli, smo imali svoje njive. 
i sadli krompir, kukuruz. To smo imali. A što se tiče naših političara i naše vlade, katastrofa. Zovem se Amela. Mi se nalazimo pored rijeke Kručica. Ova rijeka je pitka voda. Napajamo preko 100.000 stanovnika u Zenici i preko 50.000 stanovnika općenito Viteza i okoline. Vi znate da je pitka voda izvor života. Zvoj me prijatelj i rekao da je stigala mašina. Stigli smo svi, nismo dali da nam se ništi ova naša rijeka, naše blago. Prvi put je se desilo da su mašine krenile u planine gore da se grade hidrocentrale. Mještani Kruščice su stali ispred tih mašina i zaustavili ih, vratili ih. Napravili smo ovdje jednu šupu u koju smo ubacili jednu peć tako da bi mogli opstati tu. Tako da smo svaki dan ovdje dežurali i dan i noć. Od 2. augusta 24 sata dnevno, da li padalo, da li grijalo, da li puhalo, mještani Kruščice su na mostu, dežuraju, ne dozvoljavaju da prođu kamioni koji bi gradili hidrocentrale. A evo vidite gdje boravimo, gdje živimo. Znači, 24 sata se smrzavamo. S tim što, naravno, moćnici nemaju više gdje da zavuku ruke, osim u prirodne resurse, osim da uzmu šumu, osim da uzmu vodu u sve ono što je ostalo još nedirnuto. Bili smo 325 dana. Stalno su nam dolazili sa strane prijatelji, pa nas bude puna baraka. Meni su reli da u zatvoru završiti nema vezit, baš žabe jesti i pit, ali ja ću im reći ono što mislim. Znači, od ove naše rijeke ne bi ostalo ništa. Prema tome, mi ne damo izgradnju, mi ćemo se boriti do zadnjeg. Twenty-fourth August, we got the information that five women were sent to the mosque to defend the machines to go through. The machines were not there. The men were not there. They 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 were not there. Prišli su nama i rekli su nam da imamo samo tri minute da se sklonimo s mosta, u protivnom će se pisati kazne ako se ne sklonimo. Mi naravno nismo htjeli ustati s mosta jer smo mislili da nas neće dirati. After three minutes, one of the main ones who led the special unit only said to them, let's go. 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 Let's
i oni su tada krenili na nas. Počeli su da nas tuku. Vršte se za Tukli su nas nogama gazili, udarili su nas laktovima, psovali nam Boga. Bilo je tu žena koje su padale u nesvijest. Lično mene su dva put pesnicu udarili u potiljak, tu sam se onesvijestila. Čitava Lašvanska dolina je mogla da čuje naše krike, naše jauke. Pitanje svi zašto su naši ljudi bili iza nas, zašto oni nisu stali ispred nas. Mi im nismo dali. Muškarci, da mogu raditi od njih šta hoće u stvari, ali nismo se nadali nikad da mogu žene tući, da mogu žene... Jedan dan sam ja bila dežurna, gor sa prijateljicom. I došla je policija i pita mene može li izići iz auta. Da kažem, izvoli, treba danas mašina, da dođe labudica, da se mašina vozi. Kad je se sve završio, pao nam jedan veliki teret. Borimo se zajedno, tako sam zajedno možemo obstati. Tak kako ovo ono i tako da smo onda svi krenuli da branimo svoju ljepotu, svoju vodu, preko ni da se uništava to nećemo ako Bog da dozvolimo. Ne damo rijeku i to je sve, to je sve. Zajedno smo jači, ako opet ko pokuša, opet ćemo se ujediniti, nećemo da. A imate li, imate li čeri? Imam. Bili su i oni dolazili. I oni su dolazili. Jesu, dolazili su i oni svi. I šta su mislili o mamama? Pa ništa, da smo veliki heroji. Rivers have the power to unite people. No matter what nation they are, no matter what religion, river is the same for everybody. In the end, it's David against Goliath, and it always will be, you know? But it's important for David to kick Goliath's ass as hard as you can. The people inside the Balkans, that would be hopeless on their own, but all together, we have a chance. The whole community is waking up. 
you don't need to be a biologist or a scientist if you want to be a nature conservationist. You just need to be a human with a voice. Thank you.